Howdy. So you guys uh, like giant robots? Fuck yeah. That do, depends. Do like anime ones? Yeah. Do you guys like parkouring? Uh, I mean, I, do you like shooting cool guns? I'm pretty do you like doing all three parkour. at the same time. Y y yeah. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yep. So uh, this is Titanfall 2. It's the best first-person shooter that's been made in the past ten years, and I will not take criticism on that note. Okay. Um, fair enough. I, I wasn't about to provide it. I 100% <laughs> agree on you like that. Oregon. Um, I have with me uh, Mike. Howdy. And uh, Ed. Hey, how's it going? And uh, I'm Kuvo. You probably know that because you're watching my video. Um, we're doing Titanfall 2. Uh, it's a fun game. Um, I should say right out of the bat here, you're going to notice this is pre-recorded. I really don't do that too often on my LPs. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because there's going to be a gimmick for this one. Um, this gimmick, of course, is that since Titanfall 2 is such a cool game, I wanted to play it twice for you. And the reason I'm playing it twice is because I want to show off the levels in certain ways. So on that note, we oh, get to see. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, look at this production value. <laughs> so oh, you guys remember shit. Highlights for Kids? The yeah. magazine you read at the uh, dentist office? I well, love they got Blue Goofus and, and Gallant. <laughs> and uh, we'll be playing through this game like twice. Each level is going to be a certain way. And so let's uh, take a look at Gallant over here. Huh. Uh, so support. Gallant... Uh, he has good posture. He takes a bit of, yeah, he takes a bit of a methodical approach to his combat situation. So, uh, you know, thinking before he does. He will generally stay on the intended level path. Um, pretty much what a person playing the game the first time will do. Good for him. You know, yeah. You're going to see a lot of uh, aiming down sights, a lot of taking cover, you know, your standard Call of Duty stuff. Look at you know, being all tactical. Yeah. AKA how and I then, play this in multiplayer. Yeah, and then <laughs> finally, um, when we get BT spoilers, we get a giant robot named BT. He will generally stay inside the robot and pilot it, because why the hell would you not want to fly and pilot around a giant robot? That's what kind of the sense? point of the game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what does so BT he's a good stand boy. for? Um, we'll, we'll find out. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, his brother Goofus is a bit of a nerd. Um, yeah. He uh, is a bit more chaotic in his combat situations, kind of flying by the seat of his pants. Uh, he will also be in a hurry pretty much at all times. And so while this isn't a direct speed run per se, uh, there's going to be a lot of speed running movements and tactics and a couple level skips because, you know, why not? They're yeah. fun. Totally. Um, he will be showing off more of the jump kit style of gameplay, so uh, more running on walls, double jumping, sliding and punching people in the face, you know, what cool Titanfall players Whoa, do. Whoa, sick moves. Yeah. And then finally, he doesn't really trust BT, so uh, he's going to do most of his combat outside. <laughs> so you'll see a lot more rodeos, a lot of rock and launcher actions, shit like this. Why because, wouldn't you, you know, trust your robot buddy? The robot I mean, buddy can fly himself. Look, it's a double threat. Robots That's can break, point. you know? So, um, yeah, you'll see both these playthroughs. Um, I suggest watching the Gallant one first because it generally makes more sense that way, but, you know, I'm not your dad, do whatever. Also, there's different dialogue for both of these, so, you know, you'll see cool stuff. And the collectibles, I think, there's different ones in each level, so. Yeah, um, this first episode is going to have both of them, but uh, first we need to watch a movie, so let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, I love movies. Sounds good. This is what mom is actually like right here. <laughs> really blown out? Of all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the You're telling me this was an action game made in the mid 2010s? The true no, dominant force. I would never tell you that. So yeah, so we see here, uh, the Fast Titanfall pilots, they just have jetpacks strapped to their asses, the and so they can do stupid things like this. Yet devastating. Do you think they ever accidentally burn their Perceptive. butt cheeks? I would feel that they would have like asbestos pants. And I mean, that would. Then your pants are hot. You're still burning your butt cheeks. It's toasty. Mmm, toasty. Shoe walls become flaky. Just probably getting some type of poisoning at that, but you know. <laughs> we'll talk about heavy metal poisoning in a couple episodes now. Experienced in deception and maneuver. Even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. It's funny, this uh, intro cutscene shows off a lot of skills that are in multiplayer only. The zip line, but the uh, hologram, the they aren't in the single player the games. And machines of the oh, interesting. Yeah, so I haven't the played the single player of this, but I have played many, many hours of the multiplayer. So the multiplayer still fucking rules, it's great. I was curious yeah. what would be in the single player. Like, the thing is the multiplayer rules, but the only people who are still playing it at this time are people who have been playing it since launch. So you're basically going against goddamn fucking ninjas. Yeah, but it's still fun. Also, like, after, uh, we'll, we'll talk about what, um, 
Pilot Apex Predator has done for this game, but force. like after that game Warning. got announced, like the Titanfall multiplayer scene like came back. Like people saw Did the Apex Predator really? side, yeah, and they're like, you know what, Apex Predator, I guess is cool if you want that deathmatch shit, but um, Titanfall is way tighter years, gameplay. So. Our lands have been destroyed by the IMC. Yeah, also about Titanfall has robots. Our resources. Yeah, yes. which is a major step up. Or it has <laughs> robots with fucking killing us off if we try. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a plot in this game. Uh, there's a first game. I should talk about Titanfall, the first game. Um, I never played it. It doesn't really? matter. The That's plot doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's so funny. You're part of the militia. They're fighting the IMC. That's, yeah, there's giant robots. Who cares? I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. I think that the Titanfall multiplayer in 2 is better. A win that take I would yeah. say. I, I would think so. I, can live up to I mean, you, you never know with these kind of games, but there was some busted stuff in one that was not good. Mm. Oh, Cooper. Yep, so, um. Is that robot taking the injuries? <laughs> He's just squatting, <laughs> you know. Robots can do the slap squat pretty much indefinitely. Here we oh, go. Wow, it's cool. Mm. Oh, hell. Ship must have power cycled the sim pod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. So that's the last of most of our mentor. We are Rifleman Jack Cooper. Does that feel right to you, Cooper? <laughs> this is the obligatory stuff. do yeah. you want to <laughs> use yeah, yeah. inverted controls. I'm one of those guys who actually use inverted controls on mouse. Oh no. <laughs> Look, my first FPS was um Dark Forces 2 with a mouse. Oh, and that okay. had inverted look by default. So you know, I just got <laughs> used to it. You got poisoned from the beginning. Yeah. Just Technically, I'm never recovered from that. You, but in you I see potential. Besides, so we're in the VR zone, you know. It's the future. VR is cool now. Here you go. Up and over. Let's pick up the pace. Congrats, we figured out how to Hell jump. Hell yeah. Jump kits operate on the principle of relaxed ability. Once your jump kit I kind of like VR levels in these type of games because it gives the designers an excuse to make some sort of like really cool environments out of it. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like yeah. magic, basically. Yeah. Yeah, sort of like that. Beautiful. It also Thanks. makes sense from like a perspective of like if you were in a military situation, VR would be a good way to train people. So. I mean, yeah. Yeah, when are we getting haptic VR where when I get shot in Call of Duty, the bullets hit me in the head and I actually die? <laughs> That's called the U.S. military, son. Oh, got it. And then you just get every single puppy just shooting you in the balls. <laughs> Do the tea bags give have to feel bad? <laughs> yeah, so I guess, yeah, I, don't, I don't know how many people wouldn't know this, but if you have played Apex Legends, I want to say it's called. I yeah, on Legends. Uh, Apex Legends. Uh, all that movement stuff in that game, like the wall running and everything, came from this game. Like, yes. Like, almost they directly ripped. They crept a lot of the abilities, almost all of the guns as far as I know, um, a lot of the aesthetic. Some of the characters, um, yeah, they took a lot from this game. We'll see some of the characters, and actually there is uh, references to the Apex Mercenary Squad in this game. It's one of the antagonists. Like, I think it's technically canon to the, like, the Titanfall universe. I was going to say it is, right? Mm -hmm. I think it actually yeah. literally is, yeah. My uh, experience in Apex Legends was less than ideal, Combat. but um, yeah, it seemed fun if you're into that sort of thing. You must be I didn't even bother trying. Find on the field. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of... Oh, okay, Neo. Fucking Matrix them. shit. <laughs> we got to leave guns. You know what's a good gun in this game? The smart pistol. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. We'll get into that. It'll, it'll come way late. We yeah, really I don't bet. want to break that one out. But. <laughs> Load your weapon. So yeah, we're doing the standard uh, FPS rigmarole here for tutorial level, jumping, shooting, wall running, sliding. He wants to take down our sights. Um, one thing I will say about this game is all the guns are unique, and they all uh, feel Back different and good. The uh, they did a very good job making these guns feel like they're fun to shoot. Yeah, it doesn't feel like... So. No, sorry. Yeah, keep an eye on the reload animations for these guns because the dude that made them like has a knack for it, and every single right. reload animation so is just gauntlet, fucking amazing. Yeah. One of the things they did with the guns in this game that I really that. like is, Follow you know, the they have different types of guns, obviously, and different guns within that. But mm -hmm. 
there's very little like overlap uh, you know in a lot of fps games like this you get like okay there's two assault rifles and they Violet's both have a similar fire rate and mm -hmm. are just like kind of the same thing there it, yeah i feel like, like the, there's much of that in this game yeah like the assault rifles in this game there's this one which is like the uh the rs there's the flat line and then there's that energy one i forget the name like the v-star or whatever mm -hmm. and they're all like distinctly different even though they're all the assault rifle class mm -hmm. i guess and the hemlock there on the ground too yeah, so this is the gauntlet. Um, it's basically you run to the end as fast as you can, and you have to kill all the dudes, or you get a time penalty if you skip any of them. And uh, this has become a very popular thing to speed run. Um, Galantir is taking a very slow I was gonna say, he's new. Gallant, yeah, is, he's going, Gallant is killing me right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a straight line. Um, he, I, I purposely did his first run a bit slow here to show off. But um, I can do this around 30 seconds if I'm trying. Uh, the world record is like 10 seconds, I think? So that gives you like kind of a level of how fast some of these guys can do this. So look it up online for the world record for this. It's ridiculously fast. Yeah, I remember when I first got this game, this is like maybe the only thing I really did in single player. And I just spent probably half an hour here just trying oh, to... Hello. Oh, nice. Yeah, so one thing I want to show off real quick. Um, in each of the levels, there's pilot helmets. They're collectibles. Um, I will be getting most of them on Gallant, but a couple of them, because of how stupidly bullshit they are, will be gotten. <laughs> uh, are they just a collectible? I never got this, so I don't know. Are they? Yeah, just... they're just collectibles. I think they unlock some stuff for multiplayer, but they it do. doesn't okay. really matter. I was just curious if they were only like an achievement thing or if they actually unlock something. Yeah. Look at the results board for more tips on how so you can see how fast you're on the results board here. Um, <laughs> my high speed time was 11%, which means I went very slow. <laughs> Here's the top ranks for the other pilots in this universe, like Briggs and Anderson are both characters you'll see in the game as well. If you can beat them, no, there's be Lesson Lesson number four. Yeah. Go ahead and run the gauntlet. Sager is pretty fast. Mm. 25 seconds? That's quick. Yeah, so... They have uh, also just the wall with the weapons, so we'll pick out some different ones. Maybe that helps out. Oh, that's the shoddy. Yeah, the shotgun is probably the best weapon in the game, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I love games that actually have good shotguns, because, like, all the time they feel like... Every time you put a shotgun in a game, of course it does a shit ton of damage, but, like, if you go more than four feet away, you're not hitting anything. Oh, yeah. But this game actually makes the shotgun real, like, as in you can keep a tight cluster from, you know, 30 or 40 yards away. Yeah, usually shotgun pellets just evaporate after, like, yeah. five meters, if you're lucky. Yeah, five meters is far, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, playing stuff like, you know, Halo and Destiny and stuff, like those shotguns just, they drop off so immediately. At least in Destiny's credit, it kills you if it hits you, but no range. Oh, Gallant, so, uh, Gallant good job. Yeah, he did a little better. He yeah, took a it's like 30 40 seconds, seconds. Off. Yeah. That son of a bitch. Hey, 40, you're right, yeah. All done with the gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't remember that it does the um, <laughs> the Call of Duty things, but it just sets Good. your difficulty like based on your timing. Yeah. Time you yeah, that's the one of the things about the gauntlet. Depending on your speed, it will set the default um, difficulty for single player mode. Though you can change it at any point. Aren't pilots the only ones allowed to do that? It's only a simulation rifleman. It's not the real thing. Mm. What, you're wussing out? You don't want to call your robot? <laughs> Vanguard class. Homegrown militia technology. First Titan chassis we designed ourselves. One we didn't have to steal from the IMC. He just chills out there. I don't really say anything to him. I'm not sure. So, it, th this is still VR, right? Yes. Yep. Here we go. No. Right, Oops. <laughs> oh, I down. fucking broke it. <laughs> like, I have to say, I got really mad the first time I played this part, but then I just kind of appreciated the blue bowling. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't actually get to try out the, uh, the giant robot yet. Heads up. They're killing us. I'm trying to, anyway. Good session in there. It always kind of disturbed me that, like, you're able to take we'll make a the front out of you part yet, of the robot off from the robot. 
that time. Last of Because that's like BT's eyes there. And he just took son off. of a bitch. See it down there. Uh, clearly BT doesn't see give a shit. Today. Yeah. Maybe even die on it. Wow, that's not a not a good line. See you down there, <laughs> Don't <Ryan>. ever say <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, he only just needs to like, say, oh, I'm like one day again, uh, away from retirement. Dude, <laughs> yeah. stop raising the flags. God damn it. Man, wouldn't it be terrible if you or I died in the next 15 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, watch all this again from um, Goofus's perspective and see what he does. Oh, God. Yeah, Goofus. Goofus, my boy. Goofus is afraid of giant robots. Ship must have power cycled the sim pod since last I mean, I would be nervous if that thing was watching me too, to be fair. <laughs> Just bobbing a slab squad and watching you. Yeah. Seven to eight tons of war machine. <laughs> Does that feel right to you, Cooper? Nope. Goofus <laughs> is a bit of a jerk, so uh yeah, he's the sure? invert. <laughs> Did you actually play this with invert? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if you're a switch hitter with being able to play on invert, that's incredible. God, that's like that's like the people that ride those weird ass bicycles where like you put the bar to left, it turns right. Have you ever seen what? those things? Oh, yeah, no, there's like no, bicycles no, that have like a gear real. on the front hand the bar, and like it fucks people up big time. Why yeah, would you do that? <laughs> oh, here comes the bunny hopping. Yeah, so this is slide strip or slide jumping. Um, it's a movement tech. It basically keeps when you slide, you get a speed boost, and slide jumping keeps your speed boost. So uh, I'll be using it quite a bit for uh, Goofus. Damn! Imagine if Goofus could teleport, then he would really move fast. <laughs> what, what is that? A dinosaur here? I don't know. What the a joke or something? I don't think I've ever even considered going just going off path here. Well, because when you do it, normally, as you saw, it teleports your ass if you hit the ground. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, the movement in this game is so fucking good. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it later on when I start doing some more Goofus levels. Like, the once you get into a rhythm, there's, like, definite paths and stuff that you can go on. And, like, again, I am I know these, like, things, but, like, the speedrunning community is, like, insane what they can do with some of the movement tech in this game. Combat. Never yeah, I remember thinking I was I had gotten pretty good at this game after running the like single player game a couple of times, and then it just looked up a video of somebody beating the record here. And it was like, oh god, I just no. Yeah, I think one of the things Titanfall does a little bit differently than some other games in terms of its uh, movement is that in a lot of games with like wall runs and wall slides and stuff like that, you lose momentum the second yeah. that you start being on the wall and you just are fucked and you're going to go down no matter what. In Titanfall, if you're moving quick, you can literally, as you saw, you can go up. You can ascend a wall while wall sliding. Yeah, so Last of Us won't let us proceed until we actually aim down sight for Goofus' <laughs> displeasure. Good. He's like, are you happy? <laughs> you <laughs> There's also, um, not many people know a hidden weapon up here. Uh, yeah, you're accurate yep. that not many people know that, because I did not know that. What is that, anyway? It's the EPG. It's, uh... Oh, is that the nasty shotgun? It's a concussive explosive. It shoots this ball and a ball explodes. Right. Oh, okay. I don't actually use it here, but I just picked it up. I think it took me a good, like, five, ten minutes just trying to get that fucking gun the first time I tried. Oh, up there, yeah. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not an easy jump. So, um, another thing, in the tutorial anyway, you don't die, so, um, grenade explosions speed you up, which is nice. Oh, Jesus. It goes so far. This is, like, downright slow compared to the speedrunners. I'm just having nightmares right now of getting hit by this in multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, I have seen some speedruns specifically of the gauntlet, and if you watch people do the gauntlet, they don't even spend as much time on walls, because you nice, get You're mad here, speed yeah. from slide jumping, yeah. Yeah, so slide jumping is to keep your speed. To get speed, though, you want a wall kick. So, like, when you go up to wall, 
running up to a wall and wall running puts your speed at a certain speed, and then the instant you jump off, you get a slight boost. But if you kick the wall the instant you hit it, you just keep that boost. So multiple wall kicks is the quickest way to get a ton of speed, that aside from blowing yourself up. And they go like crazy, like almost unintentionally fast like faster yeah. than yeah it's scary <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll almost definitely in the thread when i post this have a link to some of the gauntlet speed runs and they're oh, yeah. just insane all done with the gauntlet mm -hmm. i'm ready to see what's next good you're gonna like this it's time you learn the other half of being a pilot imagine being paperwork. thirsty in vr you just put your head over that <laughs> <laughs> it's about time I'm ready. That's the spirit. Yeah, so Goofus will be picking First, different voice lines than Gallant. Um, they're both interesting from their different sides, I guess, but the Goofus ones are generally funnier. That's my partner, BT. He's a Vanguard class. Homegrown militia technology. The first Titan chassis we designed ourselves. One we didn't have to steal from the IMC. Floating ass rocks. Go ahead, Rifleman. Go on your well, he says, like, this is based off of his homeworld. Yeah, I was thinking that, like... like that's your home or just flourish. like <laughs> fucked up gravity or something. Or those rocks are just like really weirdly magnetic or some shit. Drop the Titan on the other Titan. An excellent job. Oh, that's just rude. <laughs> and now it makes sense that it broke. <laughs> It was like, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> I love that that is a valid tactic in multiplayer. You can quick drop Titans on other Titans to kill them. Yes, it's the best. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Trust me. Most of my memories yes, of multiplayer is just seeing a glimpse of movement that's just getting you away from the fucking game. Trying to, anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang of it someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Rifleman. But not today. No time. Last the most. Yeah, so future videos will be split evenly between each there. of the characters, but since it's the intro gauntlet and you know, tutorial, Maybe even the same video. Because it cool. Matter. Alright. See you down there, rifleman. Good luck. Yeah, let's Can't both hope we don't die. Especially <laughs> Can't you. Can't wait to do this one, <laughs> to do this one last battle, then I can go live with my wife on the SS Live Forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can choose um, what you want. Goofus is going to be playing on easy to show off some of this stuff. <laughs> Goofus okay. is like, uh, I can't be fucked. 